My name is Greg Funston. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Alberta in Edmonton, Canada. So we have a, a couple different fossils. The most interesting specimen is a, a poached block of three individuals uh, that was collected in Mongolia in sometime before 2006 and was repatriated to the country in 2006. These are oviraptorid dinosaurs, which are toothless dinosaurs. They come from Asia and North America, and they're only in the late Cretaceous. These particular animals are actually a new species, which is part of why they're so interesting. We can tell that they're a little bit different by some of the shapes of the bones in the skull uh, and in the pelvis, the hips. These animals would have been probably about 50 kilograms in life, and they would have been plant eaters. They would have had a toothless beak, much like a bird, and feathers on their arms and on the tail. They're in an unusual position relative to how we usually find dinosaurs. Typically when we find a skeleton that's all together, what we would call articulated, those skeletons are usually in what we call the death pose. So the head is arched backwards, the tail is also arched backwards, and the legs are kind of flexed, but they're not really tucked into the body. These animals are in a different position. They're actually lying on their stomachs. Their legs are curled up underneath them. Their head is tucked around back towards the rest of the body and it's actually folded into the arm. And because of that, we can infer that they're actually in a sleeping posture. The possibility that they're siblings is something that is very difficult for us to prove. But typically when animals nowadays, modern animals like birds and bats, when they form these small groups and they huddle together for warmth, Typically, it's siblings that are, that are doing that behavior, or at least family members. In order to test that in the fossil record, we would need some data that's not available to us right now. Geochemical data, uh, histological data, which is examining the tissues inside of the bones to tell their ages. And unfortunately, we can't confirm or deny right now, but the individuals are all of a very similar age. They're identical in morphology. And we know that oviraptorids, the kind of dinosaurs that these things belong to, they tended to lay their eggs in pairs. So there's a good possibility uh, that these could have been siblings. Really, it's evidence of uh, a social behavior, uh, two social behaviors, actually. The first is communal roosting, and that's, that's the word that we use to describe when animals sleep together overnight. So it happens in birds, in bats, in rodents, all sorts of different animals will roost communally. But th this is the first evidence that we have of it directly in dinosaurs. The other behavior that's represented is that these, these animals are actually huddling together. Um, for lack of a better word, they're cuddling. And typically in animals nowadays, that's done to preserve body heat, uh, maintain a constant body temperature. And so that could have some implications for the physiology of dinosaurs, specifically whether or not they like to keep their body at the same temperature, and even whether or not they were warm or cold-blooded.